KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 4th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather pretty quiet this week, although rain returns late Thursday and Thursday night. The weekend looking good, and we turn cold next week. Let's take a look at things. There's the upper air look across the nation today. We have troughing north of the state. A lot of clouds around today. Uh, some sun through the clouds and spots. It's mostly cloudy. And temperatures are mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s. And I promise it is not one degree at the Shelby County Airport. There's a problem with the ASOS automated weather station there. Around the nation, look at the cold air dipping into the northern states. And a series of cold air shots are going to be coming down the line in coming weeks, keeping the eastern half of the country well below average. Look at that. There's the watch warning map. Nothing happening around the nation today. No watches, no warnings. That's remarkable for the 4th of November. No severe weather expected through tonight. Here's the severe weather outlook tomorrow. Maybe some thunder in Florida and parts of Texas and the adjacent states. And on day three, which is Wednesday, again, some risk of thunder to the west and over Florida. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Next rain event here, mainly Thursday night. Rain amounts for most between one half and one inch. And after that, we go dry for the weekend. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Troughing to the north. And again, there's a little weak surface trough, and that might squeeze out a few sprinkles over southeast Alabama. But for most places, the day will be dry, partly sunny with a high in the upper 60s. Wednesday should be a sunny day. Low 70s are likely. That'll feel pretty good. But Thursday, here comes the front. Uh, that rain will likely arrive Thursday night. And it's being pushed southward by a 1,037 millibar high that's northwest of Des Moines. This is Thursday night, just after midnight. Cold front coming through with rain likely. No severe weather, probably no thunder. And then on Friday, the rain should end very early in the day. And it's going to be noticeably colder. Parts of North Alabama could stay in the 40s all day based on the latest guidance we're seeing. The sky gradually clearing. And then Saturday, a beautiful day to start the weekend. Now, Saturday morning is going to be cold. We'll be close to freezing. The high will be 55 to 60 in most spots. Beautiful fall day. There are the anomalies on Saturday below average for the east. And this is Sunday. Again, a beautiful day. Lows upper 30s, around 40. The high will be in the 60s, bright sunshine. And this is a week from today, Monday the 11th. Very deep vortex coming down out of Canada, and that's going to push a really cold air mass down into the lower 48. And a cold front comes in here Monday, and that might squeeze out a few sprinkles, but there's hardly any moisture to work with. And depending on the timing, it could be a day with falling temperatures. We might wind up in the 40s all day Monday. Look at the anomalies. That is some really cold air, the coldest of the season so far coming down the pike. And that'll drive us well down in the 20s by Tuesday morning of next week. So be aware of that. Let's go out uh, 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 14th, the zonal flow. And another shot of cold air coming in. Look at the snow around the Great Lakes in Ohio. That is a winter-like pattern for the eastern half of the United States on through mid-month. These are the anomalies for the 14th. And again, we are well below average. This is the rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days coming off the European Ensemble. The mean between one and one and a half inches. The good news, we don't expect any severe weather through mid-month with temperatures so cool. And speaking of the numbers, you can see one day with 70, and that's Wednesday. Otherwise, way below average. In fact, uh, Tuesday of next week, the high in the 40s, and it could be colder than that. And again, I fully expect to be down in the 20s by Tuesday and Wednesday morning of next week as a cold pattern develops. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.
Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.